It's uh, episode two of Drinks with Demo. I'm Demosthenes, Space Cowboy. I uh, want to thank everybody for the kind words after our first episode and yes. video. Um, a lot of messages came in on the YouTubes, on the Facebook, on the Instagram. On the Facebooks. Uh, the Instagram. Definitely appreciate the kind words, and I'm glad that you guys are enjoying this. Um, <laughs> so there were some questions asked. Oh, were there? Of us. Oh, okay. Uh, number one, will you guys be doing more, more episodes? Again, I don't put any work into the show. That's a, that's a thing. <laughs> Are we doing more episodes? Here it is. Uh, number two, uh, will can we? What did Bree say? Oh, she said, can we? Uh, Bree asked if she could send us a bottle of something to try. Yes. As long as it is unopened. So, <laughs> so if you have any suggestions for something you'd like to try, it have us try. Um, Great. If you want to give us stuff to try, even better. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, ain't, I ain't paying 150 bucks for a bottle. I'm just throwing that out there right now. No. Unless there's more subscribers, then maybe. No. Um, <laughs> Unless they send it to us for free and they say, hey, review this. I just said that. Well, no, I meant like the actual wine people or oh, lose people. <laughs> oh, back, back it up. Back it up. We're not there yet. We're not there yet. Um, and um, again, lots of love. And the third question that we got asked in the last week is, tell us more about this Costco Sangria. At this last uh, last episode, we talked about the Malbec we got at Costco, and I got the Malbec, Val got the Sangria, loved it. Because I'm the self-proclaimed queen of the Sangria. <laughs> Are you? I am. I thought you were the Xanadu of Fire Melons. That too. Um, so. <laughs> so people asked about the Sangria. Jeanette wrote in saying, hey, Sangria at Costco is where it's at, and we have a bottle right here. Woo. Liter and a half of... Sangria from Kirkland. Kirkland Sangria. Mm -hmm. uh, you can see that it has been opened already. Mm -hmm. We weren't. It gonna... has been a little while, so it is a relatively fresh take. Um, we cracked this open first because I was only doing the review on the Malbec, mm -hmm. um, and then this took off, and we have this. So why not? We're gonna give it a shot. Um, I guess as now is tradition. Bell's gonna read the back of the bottle. <laughs> hey. Okay. <laughs> This sangria, this sangria is a delicious blend produced from the finest grapes. There's fine grapes in there. Mediterranean spices and natural Valencia orange essence from Spain using a family recipe that goes back, any guesses how many generations? Two. Two. <laughs> I guess. I really That's didn't know. That's pretty much like I, your I dad. It's your dad's recipe. I don't even know. This old grandpappy <laughs> sangria. Abulito. Oh, I remember it very well. <laughs> The result is a delicious sangria that captures the authentic experience of a summer in Spain. Wow. For six dollars in a bottle. That's right. This liter and a half <laughs> of delicious sangria. Six bucks. Yep. <laughs> uh, ingredients. Red table wine. So it's not even anything of note. It's nope. red table wine. <laughs> That's the kind that comes with a little basket on the bottom. Oh, isn't that a Chianti? I don't know. It's okay. a red table wine. <laughs> All right. As well mentioned last time. Screw top cap. Ooh, Total classy. class. Let's pour ourselves a little bit of the sangria. So sangria, by definition, is pretty much uh, whatever wine you want mixed with fruit juices. Mm -hmm. So usually fruit juices, maybe there's little spices thrown in. I've made sangrias out of all different kinds of things from many different... <laughs> Keep talking. They don't need to see you. Many different... This is what uh, the wine. What do you call those things? Like occasions i've made blueberry like pomegranate sangrias because somebody couldn't handle you know smoothies no they couldn't handle citrus ah and i like to make sure that my you know my guests don't break out in hives so there we go it's a nice really that's <laughs> where the camera's at it's a, it's a nice it's a nice sangria <laughs> he said i was taking over the camera last time again it's cool <laughs> salut spanish Salud. Oh, that's good. Now, I didn't sniff it because it's not a, it's not a wine. It's a sangria. You don't sniff it's punch, it. punch, yeah. Yeah. This is very good. It's real easy to drink. Like most sangrias. That's kind of the problem with sangria. If you want, if you call that a problem. Oh, man. Okay. Hmm. Oh, this goes down well. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Immediate thoughts. It's very fruity. It's delicious. It is very easy to drink. Mm -hmm. um, and it's only 6% volume, so it really it's, yeah. You, you, it, it seems like there might be a hint of dryness, but just when you think it's a hint of dryness, mm -hmm. the, the juices 
the fruit juice, the flavors of that, just wash it all away. Yeah. Um, and you just keep, you keep, oh, you just keep, keep pouring it back. This is like you could have it with ice and a straw. <laughs> Telling you, you don't even need this kind of glass. You need a glass, an ice, and some straw. There you go. This is fantastic. And the more you drink it, the better, better it gets. gets. <laughs> yeah. Um, this is nice. Man, that is delicious. Um, think of it like a really nice kind of um, adulty grape juice. No, 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 not even a grape juice. Well, it's it's kind of almost that sweet heading in that direction, but with like apple juices and things like that mixed in. Like it's it's. I want you it's to. really nice. I want you to think of Hawaiian punch. Well, I don't know if I go that far. But instead of tasting the red dye, it's wine. Like, it's it's so sweet. It's I'd be so willing, smooth. I'd be willing to make to buy this instead of making my own sangria, and that's saying something. That is saying something. Mm -hmm. Wow, <laughs> that's six dollars for a liter and a half. I'm just saying. This is this is money well worth it. Um, let's do a little sniff test just for kicks. It smells like grape juice mixed with a moscato. See, I'm not really getting much of the grapes. I am getting a lot of the orange. I'm getting the grape. I am getting a lot of the orange. It does talk about having Valencia orange, and I am getting a lot of orange. What about spices are in there? Does it say? The good stuff. <laughs> mm, citric acid. Juice. Oh, there's a citric acid. That's the good stuff. Yeah. Well, that must be the orange juice. Mm. So. <laughs> I was like, brap. Brap. <laughs> Kirkland Signature Sangria. If you want... A easy to drink summer beverage. This is where it's at. Yeah. If you're having a party, a pool party, a summer barbecue, mm -hmm. whenever those happen again. Even if you're hanging out in your backyard. This is this is where it's at. I cannot recommend this highly enough. No. And again, I'm not a wine drinker. It's the shanty of the or shandy of the wine world. That's a whole other episode. <laughs> I cannot recommend this highly enough, and I am not a wine drinker. I, I would not make this myself, but now that I don't have to. Yeah. So, I guess it's review time. Unless you had any other notes that you wanted to add to this journal of debauchery. <laughs> not debauchery. It's debauchery, that's fine. Is it really debauched? I don't know, we're just drinking. On camera. <laughs> Is that legal? I don't even know. Shit, I don't know. <laughs> no, as long as we're not selling it. Oh, is that what it is? As long as it's for review purposes, I think we're okay. Okay, okay. I, I'm sure we'll find out eventually. Because, again, like before, sangria from Kirkland Signature only available at Costco and only in states where Costco sell booze. Mm -hmm. Man, that's good. I feel sorry for you guys in Pennsylvania. <laughs> sorry. That, I keep mentioning Pennsylvania because I've, I've it been to... It was so weird. We went to Costco looking for booze and there weren't any. We were really disappointed. It was a Costco in, right outside Pittsburgh to the south side. Mm -hmm. And I was looking... At, we were looking everywhere for, for alcohol. Could not find any. Mm -hmm. And I think I actually asked somebody. And I said, excuse me, where's your alcohol at? And he looked at me like I had three heads. He's like, what? And I'm like... <laughs> Yeah, I'm looking for alcohol. I know that you guys usually sell alcohol. And he looked at me dead in the eyes like, we don't sell alcohol here. Oh. Yeah. And then I said, okay, well, I'm not I'm not from here. I'm from California. We sell booze. And he, and you could see the look on his face like, <laughs> you what? <laughs> so, yeah, in Pennsylvania, in, in Pennsylvania, you have to go specifically to liquor stores. ABC store. So they only sell liquor. You can't buy beer at a gas station. Hmm. You can't buy liquor at a gas station. You can't buy liquor at a market. Only in ABC stores, alcohol beverage control. Yeah, weird. This is two episodes in a row we've talked about Pennsylvania. <laughs> it was a good trip, though. It was fantastic. It was a great trip. Almost as good as this wine. Sangria. <laughs> Indeed. Do you have any it, notes? Bringing it back home. Any notes? Uh, crap, no. Not really. <laughs> if you ever want to hit me up for a sangria recipe, though, I got a few. So. Yeah, it's called going to Costco. <laughs> Picking up a leaf. Picking about all of this. <laughs> All right, uh, I guess review time on a scale of one to five. How would you rate the Kirkland Signature Sangria? I'm giving it five caps because it doesn't have a cork. Agreed. Five oh. out of five. Unanimous. 
Um, <laughs> if you ever thought to yourself, I don't drink sangria. Why not? It's good. Every time. Try this. Spend the six bucks. <laughs> you can buy yourself a venti iced caramel macchiato at Starbucks. <laughs> or, or one and a half liters of sangria. Or a liter and a half of booze. The choice <laughs> is yours. Make yourself like a nice ceviche or something and, you know, pour it down with a little, <laughs> a little sangria. That would go good with like fish I'm gonna, tacos. I'm going to walk away from that before I pour another glass. Shrimp nachos. <laughs> Any nachos. Ooh, carne asada. Especially like fresh, like right off the grill. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> so, so maybe some El Pastor. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> There's some people out there going, I don't know what that any of that is. <laughs> Some beauty, yeah? Delicious. All right. Um, so that was Kirkland's signature mm -hmm. sangria. Five out of five on both sides here. Yeah. Highly recommended. It started to hit a little bit there. Mm, there you, it is. <laughs> if you have the opportunity, swing by your local Costco and pick one up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to launch it. It's hard when it's good. Like yeah, it's hard, right? It's hard to do a long review. <laughs> So the, for the last 10 minutes, you just saw us drink delicious wine and be like, this is great. It's awesome. This only needed to take five minutes, but, you know, we stretched it out to 10 just because we care about you. That's right. Because you wanted to hear us talk. We want to bring you the good quality television. No, they just wanted to hear us yap. They missed it. I said television. Do they still even do that anymore? I felt like a PBS, like, bumper for a second. What, what is this? This isn't radio. Well, it's not TV. It would be web TV. Unless you're putting it on your, like, you know, your fire stick or something, your crown or whatever. Your Roku. What, Roku? Whatever. Chromecast. There we go. There. Okay, there it is. <laughs> so two glasses of wine in. Have you had two? Yeah. Did you pour another one? I didn't even see it. <laughs> oh my god! I didn't even see you pour the second one. Yep. Did you inhale the first one? Close to it. I saw you chug it. I didn't know you inhaled it. <laughs> I walked over. <laughs> cap, cap, cap. Wow. <laughs> Okay, I'm doing with a lush cowboy. I, mean, I don't know. It's <sighs> getting a little hot under the hat here. <laughs> uh, I guess that's a good point to wrap it up here. Um, if you enjoyed this, let us know in your comments. If you're watching this on the YouTube, then I by all means, <laughs> um, do the whole like, subscribe thing that every other YouTuber does down below. <laughs> down below. Um, if you're watching this on the IGTV, if it's up and working, then also put in any comments that you like. Um, let us know. Tap, tap. Uh, if you want us to do any other booze, if you have any recommendations, requests, if you're like, hey, try this, it's really awesome, we'll be more than happy to try it. Or, hey, what's a good food pairing for that? We can do those, too. Uh, we, we don't can have give time that a whirl. No, no, we're, we're well, if it's a good booze like this, we talked about food pairing. <laughs> okay. I'll let it slide. Uh, it doesn't have to be wine or bottle-based. If you want to do, like, a spirit or a beer, let us know. Let's wrap it up. <laughs> thanks, for, for, thanks everyone for watching Drinks with Thema episode two. I'm Demosthenes, Space Cowboy over there. Stay safe.